All right, guys, we are out here. Junior, my tech, is taking care of the sunrooms over here. I'm about to grab the ladder and set it up on these open balconies. There's one, two, and then that'll make three in this area. There's 18 total open balconies. They were supposed to move their furniture, which as you can tell, that did not happen, which is to be expected. But anyways, we have cleaned every inch of this property. So the only thing left would be the sunrooms, which the sunrooms are these here, the closed in balconies here, and then there's 18 open. So we're here to clean all these on the property. So I'm gonna use the four gallon for a minute today. It needs to be ran, I haven't cranked it in a while. So there's the man right there. Junior. Anyways, my objective is to get these three done right now. The, 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 the plan is to clean six of these balconies for the next three days because we got other things we got to do as well on top of this job. So, anyways, I'm about to crank up and get started. Well, it's Monday, so expect issues. Issue number one, you can see I have the ladder set up here to clean this particular open balcony. Sweet lady comes out and says, hey, I just wanna let you know all the water you're gonna spray is gonna end up in this enclosed unit here. Well, if that's the case, I'm not cleaning it. <laughs> she was like, well, I really want my patio cleaned. I said, well, I mean, I really don't want to ruin their stuff in their patio and get water in there. So I called the property manager. I said, hey, look, man, this is the situation. If you want me to clean this, I need to sign a waiver releasing me from any liability because you hired me to clean all these open balconies knowing water is going to get in here, right? So, but I'm not touching it until I get a waiver signed of some sort. So, all right, guys, so I'm out here on top of one of these balconies. All I'm doing is pump spraying. And then I'm just rinsing. Easy as that. All right, guys. So I uh, just rinsed everything, cleaned the flooring. That was completely covered in cobwebs and mold and dust. You name it. Cleaned up well. A little sketchy. But hey, we get the job done, right? got three of the 18 already done and it's 9 30. also when you're limited on hands this is what i do to send down the pump sprayer open up your ball valve 
stick it through there and then close it. Voila. Now you can send your hose down and your pump sprayer. So, all right, that way, all I gotta worry about now is getting my big old self down there. See y'all a little bit. All right, guys, we got all three rigs out here now. All right, guys, so now we're over here downstreaming the sunrooms. Got my handy dandy shooter tip here, getting all this soaked. And then guess what? I'm gonna swap over to my X Jet to rinse. X Jet rinse, let's go. Don't complicate your things, guys. There's nothing easier than swapping a nozzle to go from soap into rinsing. And there's no electrical components in an X-Jet. Because anything electrical in this industry especially is gonna go bad. I'm more of a mechanical guy. And plus, I know if I got a remote downstream system, I would lose the remote within a week. All right, got the business partner up there, cleaning that top, balcony. We're just pump spraying. I got the tech, he's going around getting all the sunrooms. And we're going to go behind him and get all the balconies done. There's 18 balconies. We're going to have seven finished today. So we'll have more than half done tomorrow. It's just hard to downstream in there without getting the SH all over you. So pump spraying is a little bit more controlled. And it's been a lot easier of a solution for us. So that's what we're doing. A lot of these big commercial jobs is finding a system to get them turned over. And once you find that system, man, and you work together, you get, you get these big jobs done very well. So, man, we've cleaned all of that down there, all the, the housing, concrete, all the vinyl. We've cleaned this entire place. And it's a, uh, it's a 50K plus job project for us for everything. So all the curbs and they're, uh, they're wanting us to get it, to get on an annual contract, which is huge. You can see all the concrete down there that we've cleaned. Still looks good, but it'll get dirty. They'll need us next year. So we're gonna get, we're gonna clean these two balconies here. I've already soft washed all the way to this end here, and we're gonna call it a day. So everything's going well. Scott Lett, Iron City Power Washer.